All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, thank you for joining me here on PA Farms. Uh, kind of an exciting day today. Uh, a couple things going on. It is Friday. Um, the remnants of Hurricane Gordon or Tropical Storm Gordon have left Pennsylvania now. Uh, it's clouding up quite a bit. I don't know if these are the clouds from Florence or if it's a system before the remnants of Hurricane Florence. Uh, the sun is supposed to be out uh, actually tomorrow and the next day and then we get the rain from Florence. So it is awfully cloudy today um, and humid. It feels like it could rain but uh, we're just going to keep an eye on it. So uh, a couple things going on uh, to update you guys with as far as the farm here. Um, you guys remember in a lot of my hay up update videos I said that I was having some trouble with this barn roof leaking in several places. Um, that it was starting to, uh, uh, it le the whole thing leaks from one end to the other, both sides. Um, and what it is, it's the nail holes in this tin. This is not aluminum, this is corrugated uh, uh, steel, I'm pretty sure. And I'm thinking they use nails to put this on with the rubber washers. And uh, the rubber is long since gone. The nails got moisture down through the nail holes, uh, softened up the wood, and some of the nails have worked themselves up, and uh, now we just have holes in the roof. Um, so in the bay where I have my uh, hay in, I started seeing some uh, black spots. So I had talked it over with the landlord. He actually had a guy come today uh, to give him an estimate uh, to get up there with a lift, like a man lift, and uh, replace those nails with screws and uh, fix any holes, caulk the uh, holes shut, and uh, just kind of go over, let me walk up here, bank here a little bit, just kind of go over the roof a little bit uh, to keep some of the water out. Uh, it is a significant amount. There's over a dozen nail holes that are leaking. Um, the only trouble is the guy who gave him the estimate said that he wasn't going to be here till next spring. So uh, another contractor who I knew I called, he had also said spring. So we've got, uh, we've got to have a little while <laughs> until we're going to get some work done on it. Um, so what I'm going to do in the meantime, I'm going to get a tarp in that bay and tarp it and shed the water off the hay uh, so I don't lose any more hay. I have about five bales that I need to pull out that are turning black from the uh, water. And with the rain that we've had, it is a significant amount. Uh, probably on a typical year, it wouldn't have been anything to worry about. But this year, especially uh, when it rains every day, it's uh, really starting to make a mess. So we're gonna get a tarp in there. Um, the guy came, I think he was an Amish guy, the landlord said, uh, he did measure the barn for us. It is 72. By 52, 52 wide. So it's it's a different barn. I, I knew it was different than over at my dad's. My dad's barn is more of like a 40 by 80. And uh, this here, it's a lot uh, wider and it's higher. I, I'd say it's higher by, I don't know, at least 10 feet. So that's one thing that is uh, on the schedule. Um, I'm gonna get a tarp up for the meantime, but we are gonna try to get this roof fixed. You'll notice there's a seam in the tin, they use two different uh, two different rows to put the roof on. Um, when I did the roof, or I had the roof done over at my dad's, I'll show you guys sometime a video. I did put a brand new roof on that barn back in 2012. Um, the contractor who I got, again, it was too high for me to walk on. He recommended only putting one sheet or one length, so there's no seam there. Uh, he was able to get custom sheets of tin cut to go from the uh, eaves all the way to the peak and it was one sheet so there's no seam there's no gap I'm very proud of that roof he did an excellent job um, I'll showcase it sometimes for you sometime for you guys so that is one thing we're working on I'll show you the next thing here all right so back in my 20s there wasn't a roof that I wasn't gonna, that I would stay off I uh, wasn't afraid um, to go on very many roofs um, I did coat over at the other farm a uh, shed roof where I had the Super C on the opposite side of the building and I threw a rope, a real long rope up over the peak and I tied myself off to the uh, Super C with a rope from the rafters and I was able to coat the entire roof with aluminum roof coat. Uh, that was back in my 20s. Um, <laughs> Seems like uh, not too long ago. I'm not uh, I'm not old old, but uh, now that I'm uh, a little bit more out of shape, uh, a little bit more back pain than I used to have, um, <laughs> not as uh, not quite as coordinated, I guess. Uh, granted, I'm still young. There's still a lot of things I can do. Um, 
but I've really uh, not liking being on roofs as much as I used to. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, these are fine. I have no problem going on these. I have been on that one, the lower one. This one uh, needs a little bit of caulking. I'm going to try to do that one. Uh, this one, of course, is almost flat. But anyway, <laughs> that's not what I'm here to talk about. <laughs> I'm not old. Don't Nobody think I'm old. But uh, I'm not 20 anymore. Um, so up there, you could see, you, you guys remember all the holes that were in this north side of the barn. Uh, this was filled with holes and daylight coming in. I was a little worried with hay being stacked against this wall in the winter time with the north That way is north and the nor'easters and there was a lot of snow I could see last year from the winter that blew in from that side And I don't want that snow blowing in and sitting on the hay and then melting and then everything soaking wet uh, You notice we did get it patched up the uh, landlord was here with uh, uh, his neighbor that uh, does some carpentry work and we managed to uh, I, I didn't help much. This is all to their credit. Uh, I stood here and watched <laughs> So uh, like I say, I am a tenant so um, Some advantages I guess but I watched and uh, they actually put the uh, Recycled that wood up there is actually the old siding that used to be on the first house here that I lived in uh, when I first got married um, they uh, had taken that wooden siding off from that house and they actually put insulated vinyl on because that house was very poorly insulated. A lot of rough winters in that house, but uh, got insulated siding on it now. And that is the recycled siding from the old house and it actually matched the barn siding. You guys will know, I've said this before, um, most barns that I'm familiar with, you have your timber frame and then they had uh, planks that would go up um, vertically instead of horizontally. That's how my dad's is. Um, being that they had their own sawmill over at my dad's place back in the uh, 18 and 1900s, uh, they saw sawed all their own lumber. And there is a board in that barn that's like 28 inches wide <laughs> that goes up. I'll show you sometime. Um, this winter I might do some more videos over at the other farm. But anyway, this barn they decided to put siding on. And uh, it looks nice. It's different. Um, but the only drawback is, well, I guess with the clav the boards going this way, you will have uh, what they did over at my dad's. We had the boards going up vertically, and then they had uh, strips about that wide that they nailed to cover the seam. Well, uh, I guess they got tired of painting it. It was getting weathered. They ended up putting red asphalt shingles on. Uh, so it, it is that sealed up inside the, the barn at the other farm. Um, never had any problems with water coming in. Uh, the sides. So uh, could I store hay over there? Probably, but uh, the barn is filled with uh, stuff that's not mine. So it's kind of how it is. So we're working to get things sealed up here. So I'm hoping you guys are finding some of this uh, <laughs> barn history here interesting. Um, so uh, one more thing, I guess, on this video, uh, just to keep things rolling here. All right, so we're back down in the shop. Uh, you guys have been in here many times. Uh, we got a uh, 20, 200, is it $298 million barrel of Roundup there uh, and a 30-gallon drum, uh, <laughs> for those of you who get, that get that reference. Uh, did order all my herbicide and pick it up for uh, the 2019 uh, growing season. So I do have all that. Um, I have it stored where it won't freeze. I still have to unload this. Uh, I got to get a pump in there. Um, I bought it in the bigger jug just to, to, it wasn't any cheaper buying it in the barrel, but for the hauling, it was a lot easier than having, I don't know, how, however many boxes and small jugs. I probably have enough empty uh, Roundup jugs that I can pump this out of here, make it a little bit more convenient for myself. All right, guys, uh, just a quick update today. I'll let you know what's been going on. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm not uh, out of breath.